As many of you know, the devs have already begun teasing various things for me that we could be expecting to come to Royal High. Lots of you guys might think that the recent update we just received was the update that they were teasing, but I have some information that may make you think otherwise. Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day today as always and thank you so much for tuning in to another video on my channel. It really does mean a lot to me you guys and just before we get started I just wanted to remind you don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button you guys so you never miss any of my videos including all of my tea spills and my upcoming role plays. I'm really glad that you guys have been enjoying some of the roleplay videos I've been posting so thank you for the support on them and I can't wait to make some more. But for now you guys, we are going to talk about May, the month that everybody dreads usually in Royal High, the month that we all assumed was actually going to be terrible in Royal High, may not be as awful as we thought, especially since the beginning of May has already looked up compared to where we thought it would be. We're going to go ahead and say hi to Dolly, you guys, and I'm going to talk to you about something that some of you may have forgotten. Hey everyone, I'm Dolly and welcome back to another video. As always, you guys, don't forget to leave a comment on today's video and we'll try to reply to as many as possible and of course leave some hearts on them and don't forget to leave a like on the video too. Every single like and every single comment helps so much, you guys. So thank you so much to everybody who supports the channel. And a big, big thank you to all of our channel members. We see all of you who've been renewing your subscriptions recently. And it really, really, really means amazing. It really, really means a lot to us. And we really appreciate it. So thank you so much for all of your love and support. And you guys, before we get started, we need to say a massive thank you to today's Little Bean shout out. Thank you so much for commenting on the last video. And as always, if you'd like to be the next Little Bean shout out, all you have to do is put hashtag LBSA at the end of your comment. Absolutely, you guys. Thank you all so much for the support. Some of you were shocked when I told you that about 60% of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed, you guys. A lot of the other Royal High channels tend to be really good at getting people to subscribe, and I'm not really sure how they do it. But you guys, if you do have a moment when you're watching my video and you'd like to support me a little bit more, it really would mean a lot if you just hit that sub button to help us get towards our next girl. Anyways, you guys, let's talk about the hot spicy tea. Basically, as many of you will remember, I recently recorded some videos with Ready the Teddy and some other devs were there as well, but it was primarily Ready and me talking. In those videos, Ready told us that she was working on a project, but also mentioned that May would not be as boring as we all thought it would be based on what is coming to Royal High. So with all that said, you guys, it got me thinking, obviously, back then about what could actually be coming in May. I even said to her, can we expect potentially a set? And she said she can't really answer that question. So in other words, she's not saying no, you guys, to a potential set this month. But the main thing that got me thinking even more is that the new update that we just had for the rework of the Cherry Blossom Kimono and some other things had already been in the works and obviously was about to release. But I don't think that's the update that Reddy was talking about. The way she described the update, you guys, made me think that maybe there's actually something else in the works for May as well that we haven't yet heard about. Obviously, we know that Lance has already said they wanted to do an update before June 22nd, and some people wondered if the update we just had may be that actual update. But I don't think it is, you guys. I think there is a bigger spring update with some more things, like a new set, actually in the works right now. I have a feeling they're planning some more stuff than we actually know about, and personally, I am very nervous, but also excited. I don't think that the update we just had is the only thing we're going to see in May. You guys remember that they said that 2021 we could expect anything. And you guys, they said that it was going to be a crazy year. And so far, the devs have constantly proven us wrong every single time we thought something wasn't coming. Every time we have assumed there won't be an update, every time that we have guessed there isn't going to be something, every single time any of us have doubted the magnitude of something coming to the game, they have proven us wrong. With a new massive update, with new items, with surprise things coming into the updates that we were told that weren't going to come. There are always surprises. The devs slip into these updates, you guys, and every single time we end up completely surprised by whatever it is that they release. So with that said, you guys, I can't help but feel like maybe this is happening again. How do we know that for me, the devs haven't planned something and that it's currently in the works? Well, there's no way for us to know for sure if there is or there isn't. 
But I just can't imagine that they would leave the game all of May with nothing going on other than right at the start, you guys. So I do have this sneaky feeling that there's going to be something else that comes to Royal High very soon. And I think it's going to be a big update. Right now, we are all enjoying the wonderful update we have right now, which obviously came with the Cherry Blossom Kimono rework, the helmet rework, the shoe reworks, all of the colour options added to the accessories and various other things that we know came to the update. But personally, you guys, I just foresee that there's going to be something more. The devs have have been working so hard and I just can't imagine that they would leave it there. Now I am going to go and wish to the fountain because somebody's not somebody pointed out in my Twitch stream today that I don't actually go to the fountain and wish enough you guys. I could one day get a healer. Some people were asking me in my stream, B do you think you'll ever win a healer from the fountain? And I was like no probably not I don't think I will because I always forget to wish into the fountain anyway. So you guys I've got to start making more of an effort to wish into the fountain. I also saw one of you little beans in my discord got a troll answer where it was like you really picked this option who picks this option which I thought was really really funny I don't know the correct answers because I haven't looked at the table in a long time so I'm just gonna pick a random one and see what happens you guys but honestly I just like to wish the fountain to see what happens sometimes you get diamonds and XP as well which are all helpful I actually got to level 75 and I've never like done a class since you guys so the rest of my levels are from like fountains and things like that giving me XP so like can't really complain you know let's see what happens you guys and also while I remember I know the devs, oh poo, I lost diamonds. I know the devs have also spoken about the potential of wanting to change to universal healers, you guys, rather than doing seasonal healers. Now, obviously I don't know how soon that could be or when they might make that change or if maybe the next healer might be a less seasonal one and maybe be a universal one, like another autumn healer rather than Halloween, for example, or obviously a summer healer instead of mermaid. I'm not really sure, you guys. Then again, I suppose the mermaid ones are pretty universal because they're not really specific to any kind of like area or of time or season. So maybe Maybe more things like the Glimmering Light Halo and the Crypt Halo and the Mermaid Halos, you guys, where they're not specific to a season. I think we could maybe expect some more things like that. But for now, we're going to have to wait and see, but I just can't help but feel like this is not it for spring, you guys. I think May is only just getting started. I think they have things in the works. Ready and the devs told us in my video, you guys, that they have ideas for what they could do this month. And they even said, even if there isn't another update, there's going to be some tea this month, you guys. So we have to keep our eyes peeled because I am very, very excited. You may remember in the video with Ready, she did say to me that she was working on something right now. And once it's nearly done, she's going to release some tea on it, you guys. So if you want to be able to see that tea, make sure you're following her on Twitter and you're subscribed to this channel with the bell clicked so that you don't miss it when it finally comes out. I'm super, super excited, you guys. And I know that they're going to be working so hard. And I love the devs and all the hard work they put into the game. And I just can't wait to see what it is that they're working on. And I really do feel like we're going to have another update this month fairly soon. Anyways, you guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a like. We're going to aim for 250 as always, and please don't forget to subscribe. I'm super, super excited for all of the content right now, you guys, and can't wait for you to see more of the roleplay stuff I've been planning too. I love you all lots. I appreciate you, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Goodbye.